by heart get ready fantasy football is here welcome to the full-time fantasy show fulltimefantasy.com is home to the fantasy football world championships and the best players in the world real money winners giving their secrets to help you win now exclusively on iheart this is the full-time fantasy show with your host the one the only dr roto It's Dr. Roto. Get out the insurance cards. Get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. It's time to do my podcast preview for the Detroit Tigers. Yikes. There's not much I like here, but we'll go through it. Uh, there are more names on the minor leagues than I actually like in the major leagues. All right. Austin Romine. Is their catcher? I mean, what do you want me to tell you? The, the dude's okay. Maybe his average won't kill you. I think that's the best part of Romine is that you actually think that maybe he could hit 260, 270. So if you're looking for a one dollar catcher in an AL only league, he's your kind of guy. I do like CJ Cron. CJ Cron may be my favorite. I'll use the term loosely. One of my favorite. Uh, players on the Tigers. Guy hits 250. That's what he does. And he strikes out a lot. We know that. Doesn't take a walk, doesn't steal a base. But he should be able to hit 25 to 30 home runs and get about 75 to 80 RBIs. So there's value there, right? In a time where we want guys who can hit 25 home runs, CJ Cron can do that. He's going to play every day. Jonathan Scope, I've always liked him. I think the problem is that he fluctuates so much. I mean, he had that great year back in Baltimore. We hit 293, and then the next year he hit 233. But he's got power, uh, strikes out a ton, but he can hit. And I and I think this is a place in Detroit where he's just going to get a chance to play every day, get his 25 home runs. Like, he and Cron are similar to me. 25 home runs, 70 RBIs. They're not going to suck that badly. And, and there you have it. All right, Nico Goodrum may be one of my more favorite players out there, and I'm going to tell you why. He is that Swiss Army knife that if you play, especially in a draft Champions League, you like him. Like last year, 18 games at first, 22 at second, 38 at short, 32 in the outfield. That's a guy that helps you everywhere. Everywhere, right? Going to hit about 15 home runs, going to steal about 15 bases, going to hit about 250, not going to kill you anywhere. That He's that perfect guy in the reserve round that you take and that you move him around when you need him because there are injuries in fantasy baseball, right? There are always injuries, and Nico Goodrum is a guy that can get us through a few weeks here and there. All right, Heimer Candelario, uh, I don't know, man. He's just not very good. I mean, do you want a guy that hits 217? Do you like Dao Lugo as well? I don't know, man. These guys, I don't want either of these guys. Seriously. If you're picking a, a Tiger third baseman, but keep your eyeballs. I'm going to give you a minor leaguer, Isaac Paredes. This is a guy who can hit. And because third base is such a wasteland for this team, Paredes might be up sooner than later. Just throwing his name out there. That's a name you want to get to. All right, let's look at the outfield. Christian Stewart, Kristen Stewart, excuse me, Christian Stewart is a guy who I thought was going to be better. I thought he was going to have a lot more pop. He just struck out a whole lot. Uh, he's going to sit against lefties. Uh, they, br- they brought in Cameron Mabin, which is not very good. I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, Jacoby Jones is going to play a little bit. Jacoby Jones is the kind of guy that I just don't really like. But if Jones can stay healthy, there's some power and some speed there. I can live with Jacoby Jones. I I think he offers more than most people think. Victor Reyes is another guy there. He's going to play, right? He is going to play, and he's got a little speed, which is what, what you're looking for. Is he going to hit 300 like last year? Probably not. But I think there's something to be said for this guy. And, you know, he's there's there's a little upside. I mean, he's, he, there's a little upside there because of the speed. So the outfield is Stewart, Reyes, Maven, Jones. I really, I'll be on, on Reyes. I'll be on Jones. 
I won't be on the other two. Miggy Cabrera is like a, a thousand years old and he's still there at first base slash DH. Uh, do you remember the days when Cabrera was a Hall of Famer? I mean, he was a great player. He just hasn't been great since, you know, 2017. Sad, but true. So please, unless you're in an AL only league, no, no interest. I will tell you that I do like Joe Jimenez. I do like him. He is the guy there. Now, is he going to be lights out? No. Is he going to have a lot of losses? Yes. Is he going to save 45 games? Probably not. But he has the job. And in a time where you're not sure who has the job and who doesn't have the job, I'm sure that Joe Jimenez does. So if you need a close closer later in the rounds, in like rounds 15 through 18, he's your guy. All right, starting pitching, I'll give you some names. I like Matt Boyd a little bit. I do. I think he's interesting to me. I don't think he's great, but he can strike out some guys. He's definitely interesting. He could be a third starter on a team. There was a time last year I really liked Spencer Turnbull. I really did. I, I use him a lot in daily, but uh, just a lot of walks. A lot of walks. I mean, I, I like a guy. I mean, he was too many walks for me, so that makes me nervous. I don't like Ivan Nova. I don't like Jordan Zimmerman. I don't like Daniel Norris. I don't like any of these guys. But I will give you three guys I like. I like this kid, Matt Manning. He's pretty darn good. He's going to be coming up at some point. And he's a really good young pitcher. Casey Mize, another guy who is very close for the Tigers. And then a guy that nobody's going to have, Tarek Scoopal. This guy's a fireballing whiz in 42 innings in double A last year. He had 82 strikeouts. You can't teach that. I mean, seriously, you can't teach that. So the Tigers have about three starters who are very close. And if you're playing in a dynasty league, you want Manning, Mize, and Scooball. Those are the guys you want. Paredes is another guy you should take a look at uh, as well. Daz Cameron is there too. Not as big a fan. Um, has a little bit of a hole in a swing. But I think Paredes can come up at some point and help the Tigers out. All right? So time now to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. For more, check out FullTimeFantasy.com and to the promo code ROTO50 for 50% off your first two months. All right, guys, this is Dr. Roto saying be well and take care. Thanks for listening to Full Time Fantasy. There's never been a better time to join and go full time. Visit FullTimeFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO50 for 50% off your first two months. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time.